Have you ever started a Minecraft world and tried to live in the snowiest of biomes? Being so cold and wrapped up in your little home? Nope, me neither. And that's why I live in Jim's dreamland. Oh yes, the best place to be. This is New Life SMP where we get six lives and six different origins. I'm currently a penguin. Could you tell? Probably not. Can you tell now? Yes. You see that lunge? Wow. Do the, do the wow thing. The, the, the wow man. Put him up. Wow. Thank you. Jim's dreamland is here and it's looking great. And it's another day of making this place better and bigger. But before we do that, just to give you a little recap, I have a friend called In The Little Wood and he's a chillager. We both are cold origins. He actually lives up on that hill up there where I just was in my igloo thing, thingy bob bob. And we wanted to be connected. So Martin actually made a tunnel where me and him are now connected. And it's just under here. Now, we made this because we both had abilities where we could slide and get there fast. I can slide on my belly and he can freeze and zoom himself, you know, across slidey surfaces. And sometimes off of cliffs. But check out when I first found this. What is this, you ask? Well, I've only just found out about this. You know when me and Martin were talking about uh, the the tunnel between us, the slip and slide? Apparently Martin has done it. So now we're going to take a look. I oh, well, I can already see ice. Right. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, this is my first time seeing this. I don't know what this looks like. Has he done like a full on? Oh my gosh. It's not letting me belly slide. Oh, wait. Let's let's hover over. You know where it says biome, sunflower plains? Let's see if I can belly slide as soon as it goes into... Um, is it because you're holding your sword? No. Let me take off my boots. No. Let me see when we cross over into, like, the snowy biome if I can do it. It is. Oh, that's so frustrating. Hello! Bro. <laughs> Bro. Dude, I got something to show you. You're going to be so disappointed. Does your ability not work either? Mine doesn't work. Oh. Wait, yours doesn't work? Well, no, it's okay. Watch mine. Mine lets me go and then it kind of like jolts me. What? Yeah, I slide and then it and then it brings me up. It, uh, Sorry, like, say that again. I didn't hear the first half of what you said. Like I... Oh, uh, no, you got it. I slide, and then it, like, I can, uh, apparently, I can only belly slide in cold biomes. So, as oh, soon as no. I, yeah, as soon as I come into the snowy biome, I hit it. But for some reason, it seems to stop when I get into frozen peaks biome, which is this one. Oh. Wait, I, I feel like it does. Wait, can I? Oh, no, it, it does Oh, oh, there you go. Why does it keep bringing me up, though? We did I mean, it on the top scenario. and it wasn't doing that. Anyway, we've got a tunnel, like you said. What is this? Look at that. It's cool, right? Is that Colin? That's Colin. And I got Colin on my shield as well. Oh, I need to get myself a shield. So yeah, it doesn't work to the way we wanted it to. But good thing is, boats still work, don't they? So you can just grab a boat, slip all the way along. Woo! Doesn't take too long. And hey, presto, I am here. Now, I have three building projects I want to do today. Number one, a fountain. You know the thing that drip, drips water? Yep, all right, cool. Number two, lampposts. That sounds really boring, but when they're needed, all right? They are needed in the dreamland. Number three, a swimming pool. Dreamland needs that swimming pool, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get right ahead with that. But before that, Hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. One like equals one dream. That's really wholesome. One dream, one like. Wow. Who wouldn't want that? And subscribe. Subscribe equals an extra dream. You get an extra dream if you subscribe. Cheers. Well, I already have an idea of how I want to do this. We've got a white concrete panel here. We've got a lovely concrete wall. I wish I was tall enough to jump. Some mushroom fences here. And bosh. Look at that. Oh, get rid of that. What do we think of that, guys? I kind of like that. I don't know how it looks within the, the the leaves. I'm not sure about it being a part of the leaves like wall here. I'm uh, That's the only bit I'm not too sure about. I've gone for the normal lantern, everybody. Hold up. There is actually a white lantern I want right here. Look, white iron bulb, but it says better end. We haven't been to the end yet, and I'm just a fragile little penguin. 
So I'm going to wait till someone does it. And then I'll go in and, and grab the things, maybe. I'll, I'll do that, all right? Let's put up a couple more uh, lampposts and see how we feel. How are we feeling about this one? It's not a part of the leaf what well, kind of is, kind of is. How are we feeling about that one? I just feel like it's missing something. I just feel like this bit is blending into the floor maybe a little bit too much. Maybe it needs a, a different bottom block there. I'll put them up, right? When I get some other building geniuses around on the server, they can kind of critique me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. And then they will they will fix it. Anyway, you you creative bunch in the comments, you guys can, can help me as well. I've put one by the boxes. Okay, this will do for now because I'm running out of resources. Um, I've put one over here by the nether portal. One over here with the path. One on this path as well. I think they actually might look all right. Lamp post. Tick. Fountain. Let's get cracking. So I decided to build my fountain just at the front of my base next to my waystone area in a completely fresh spot. We're expanding, expanding the dreamland, making it bigger. I went for a circle type fountain using the rim as pink concrete with a variety of stairs and slabs and then the middle using white concrete. I used some bushes and it actually turned out really well also. And we went straight on to building the pool area too. I had to do a little bit of terraforming and make a space for it because I was just putting it to the left of my main base. I was doing a rectangle pool and I had to dig down and actually put the bottom of the pool a shade of blue so it doesn't look, you know, a little bit strange. I also made a little canopy area for the pool. I thought it was lovely and using different types of wool now, pink and white. A little bit of glass and obviously I had to fill the pool with two blocks deep full of water. So the fountain is built and the swimming pool is built. Obviously you can see they're not integrated into the, the dreamland at all. I've just built them in, in separate places where I want them but haven't kind of conjoined them and, and whatnot. We will be doing that, don't you worry. Now, as I was building everybody, Joel popped along, and he's actually a new origin called Kind Lin, where he's just an old man. I'm not even joking. He's literally an old man called Lin, who's kind. He actually said I'm in his will, and for my inheritance, he's given me this lovely fishing rod here, and a diamond. A, a diamond right here. This is... that's very kind of Kind Lin. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. But I did just hear through the server grapevine that, my friends have been to the end and killed the dragon. And now, obviously, we can go through the, the end portals to the end cities and whatnot and uh, check out all the new stuff there. So we're going to go and take a little peek. Luckily, I've got the dimensions for it as well, which uh, it's a thousand meters away. But if we teleport to spawn, we will be a little bit closer. We're, we're not that closer. <laughs> is this Pearl's house? I think it is. I've, I don't, I've never been here. Oh, look. There's the waystone. All right. At least we know the... Uh, we can go a little bit closer. Look at these candles. Hey, Perlo's place. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is magnificent. Look at that. I have never been in this direction, by the way, and I'm finding everything. What in all heavens is that? Is that a ship in the air? I don't think that's anyone's anyone's built that. I think that's literally a, a structure that was already here. Holy moly. Okay, the end portal is coming up. I am praying praying that they've got a waystone. Yes, yes, I saw it peeking around the corner. Look at this. They've made a proper way to get down as well. This is very considerate. Okay, we're in the stronghold. Cheeky. Oh, there's some chests. Oh, you're so dead. Is it bad? Oh, maybe I don't go. This is really cool, by the way. Scott was, by the way, Scott was one of the, the ones to go. I hope you brought a lot of bricks as getting around with movement abilities is hard. I will pop in and pop out. Oh my god. Dude, the strongholds are cool, man. By the way, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'll take some books. Are we ready to go, everybody? This is really cool. I like this whole setup, man. Bring this into vanilla. Look how epic this looks with the chains hanging down. Let's step in. See what's happening. Right. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Gosh, look how sparkly and cool it looks. Oh, wait. I've just realized there's Enderman. Let me just uh, get my shield on, but also look at the floor. Oh, my God. The, the end is so beautiful in modded. Oh, my gosh. I want to look at one of the towers. Look at the towers. Look how epic they look. This is where you go home. Oh, my. Look how epic that looks. This is where you go home. But look, if we go over here, this is where the end cities are. Do not look at one of them. 
You have seven hearts and not a lot of good stuff. This. This is where it is. Right. In we go. Excuse me? This is unreal. This is cool. Do not look at anything. I should have wore a pumpkin. Oh, God. I should have wore a pumpkin. Look at this little jellyfish. Wow. Jelly. It's like SpongeBob. We're in an alternate universe of Bikini Bottom. Oh, we went. He disappeared. Is this Jellyfish Fields from SpongeBob SquarePants? Oh, wait. I'm going to mark where I get home, by the way. Let me just quickly mark that. Oh, is that water? Oh, I'm freezing it over, but wow. What's this? Is that bamboo? Wait, what is this? Sandy Jade Stone Pedestal. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to find any of these glowing bulbs, but it's been nice to explore a little bit. I'm not going to explore too much because, like I said, I have seven hearts and I'm very scared. Oh, there's another building. It's like another end building. It's like an end city bit. The city at the end of the game. Yeah, I think it's all been looted from the gang that came here. Which is okay. They had dibs. They had dibs. I think they've looted that one as well. Oh, wait, there's a dragon head on the end. I'm getting that dragon head. If you don't mind me, thank you very much. Back home, me thinks. Back home. Okay, right. I'm through. I'm through. Right. Let's get back and then drop down the middle. I completed the game. Wow. Home sweet home. This is it. Home sweet home. I was just admiring my dreamland, everybody, and I've noticed what's in the world is going on here. Is this fungus? This is mushrooms. There's only one mushroom on the on the on the server. Not and I don't mean that, this. If you didn't know, Scott's major. He's now like a mushroom origin type thing. So I think he's been planting some mushrooms and, and spreading himself everywhere. So, let's throw this mushroom. We'll clean this up in a second. I think I need another holiday home. I currently have one holiday home at Martin's Dollop, Martin's place. I think I might need another one located at a certain Scott Smajor's base. This seems like a good patch of land to set up on, doesn't it? There we go. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Look at it. Look at my little igloo. <laughs> right, let's get a sign. Jimmy's Holiday Home. So now I've got two holiday homes, which is obviously so great because sometimes in Dreamland, gets a little bit too hot and I need to go back to somewhere a little bit colder because if you didn't know I yeah I'm a penguin yep I'm a, I'm a penguin I need cold cold environments sometimes um so yeah that's fantastic thank you so much Scots Major for allowing me to do that that's really really kind of you thank you okay enough doodallying let's get Jim's dreamland looking a little bit more presentable with our new features that we've added earlier on with a snap of fingers my dreams will come true that was really, really cringe. But here they are. And we've done some, some of the changes. It's quite a lot of work. This patio here has been completely filled. The swimming pool area now has two sets of steps. They kind of like loop round uh, from, from the box side all the way to the never portal side. By the way, also, as these stills are here, please, if you have any knowledge or any ideas on what to do to these areas to like improve them, please. Take this screenshot right now. Go, go work. Go work with it. Go work with it. And then tweet it back to me or something like that. I'd appreciate that. I've got more patio over here too. The fountain has now fresh cut lawns around it, surrounding it by uh, uh, bushes. And also, I've created this area, this little divot area, with um, an overhanging ledge. And my idea is, is to basically turn the inside of this into either having villagers in there or just some type of room where I can keep stuff. Um, but I need to obviously not keep it dirt. I need to replace it with something. Something that is not pink or white. I need some kind of brick. So you guys could help me, me with that in the comment section if you'd like. But yes, obviously lots more work to do. But I'm glad with the progress we have made today. My next project is going to be the fan art like museum where we're going to be taking some of your guys uh, art pieces and putting them in a museum and creating like six spaces where um, each like where like each room is related to an origin. So that's going to be really fun. But yeah, that's it for me. Uh, I see you later. That that was Martin's line. I, I call, call, call you later. Call you later. See ya.